What's going on everyone? Welcome to Corey Loses, where today we're going to be learning how to install Republic at War and also how to fix the AI issue that sometimes happens with it where the enemy won't actually do anything. Uh, so, the first thing we're going to go over is how to actually download it. So you just got to go to the Republic, the moddatabase.com slash mod slash Republic at War page and there will be two versions that you can get here. There's Republic at War v1.1.5 and then there's the same but the minimal version. The minimal version, the difference here is the minimal version is just the files whereas this one is the installer version. So I'm gonna go over how to do the installer version. So we'll start by just opening that and then you click the download now button. It's gonna to try to play an ad. Uh, I already have it downloaded as you can see here. So that's just all you have to do. You download it. I'm just gonna go straight to the next thing. So I'm gonna show you how to do it for Steam for Empire or for uh, the disc version and for GOG. Uh, I don't have the GOG copy of the game. However, the the process stays the same between all versions of the game. The folder name will just change a little bit. And other than that, it's the exact same except for one thing for Steam. So we're going to go over the Steam way first. What you're going to want to do is uh, I saved it to desktop. Just going to cut. And you're going to go into your uh, so for me, it's this PC, local disk C, program files. Then you go to wherever your Steam installation route is. So Steam, you're going to go into Steam apps. Then I'll just go directly from Steam here. Steam, Steam apps, common. And then you're going to look for Star Wars Empire at War. And since this is for Forces of Corruption, you're going to get to Corruption. And then you're going to need a Mods folder. So if you don't already have this folder named Mods, just right-click, New Folder, and this you just name mods, but we already have one, so don't need that. So you're going to go into the mods folder and you're going to paste this. It doesn't, this is, the installer is going to change the path, it's just to keep everything together right now. At this point, you're going to right click and extract here. Uh, this may take a minute, so I might actually just cut the video. We'll be back or not. I'm just going to talk this through this. So, how's everyone's day? Yeah, good, great. 69%, 70%, 71%, 78%. Da -da -da, da -da -da, da -da -da. All right. So now that we have that, we're going to run Republic at War.exe. If you're uncomfortable running an installer version, just download the other thing. And it'll just put all the folders in place. And we're, I'm going to show you where to put all the folders anyway. So whichever, uh, whichever one you prefer, it's really up to you. But the process will be relatively similar. Uh, so the setup will just follow the instructions here. Agree with the EULA. You're going to read the whole thing, as everyone always does, obviously. Uh, we're going to go the custom vert version. Why not? All right, so it did automatically locate my Steam, or my Steam copy. I'm going get, to get rid of that for now. Yeah. Sorry about that. Uh, so you do have the option to browse. Right now we're just going to go for corruption there. And keep going. Install. So I'm going to cut the video here. I'm going to come back when it's actually installed. Right, so you just got to agree to that stuff. See you soon. All right, so the installer has finished doing its job. You just got to click OK. Next, it'll do that all for you. It's just the one thing you got to click there. And now you'll have the Republic at War folder in your mods folder. All right, so the next thing you have to do in order to run the mod on Steam is you're going to go into your Steam library here. You're going to find Empire at War Gold Pack. And you're going to prick, or not prick, click on, right click on it, Properties. In the General tab, you're going to go to Set Launch Options. And you're going to put in Mod Path equals Mods slash republic underscore at underscore war and the name that you're putting into the here is corresponding to the name of the folder right here so you can do that with any mod and then in order to run it you're just gonna run it how you normally would properties uh, you're gonna click on here and forces of corruption and then when you launch forces of corruption it'll launch republic at war so that's how it works for the steam version uh, now I'm going to show you how to do it for the other versions. You're essentially going to start following the exact same process. 
Uh, I'm not actually going to physically show you because we just went through all that. But what the only thing that's going to change is the name of the folder you're working in. So where it's corruption, where it's Star Wars Empire at War and then corruption for the Steam version, if you have the disk version, the original disk version, it's going to be Empire at War and Forces of Corruption are their own folders. You're going to go into just Forces of Corruption and then right there. Really what you're looking for is this swfoc.exe. All right, so for both GOG and for uh, the disk version, it's going to be the exact same. Uh, the GOG version, you're actually, it's going to be called EAWX is the folder you're looking for. But it's the folder that has your swfoc.exe. And that's where you're going to be creating your mods folder. So the difference with how you run it is, let's assume that Steve's Ewok mod is your installed Republic at War. So all you need to do in that case is Republic at War actually comes with the raw launcher over here. Uh, it'll be, let's just assume it's in here. I'm going to go to where it actually is. You're just going to pop that open and you should be able to click Play Republic at War. And then that'll be it. All right, so now uh, what we're going to be doing is looking at how to fix the AI bug that sometimes comes up with the Republic at War. So again, your, your folder structure is going to be the same regardless of whether you have the Steam version or any other version, so I'm just going to stick with the Steam version for this. Uh, so what Republic at War does is its AI folders, or its AI changes are installed directly to your Forces of Corruption data folder. Uh, because that's the only way the game will read a lot of the changes to AI. But unfortunately what this means is because it is slightly bugged with Republic at War, it'll break your AI not just in Republic at War, but also in any other mods you play. Uh, when I'm doing tech support for TR and people say the AI isn't working, like 10 times out of 10 it's because uh, Republic at War broke it. Uh, and this can affect any mod, so the way you fix this is actually pretty easy. Uh, the first thing you do... The first thing I usually tell people to do, uh, if you're going to play Republic at War or any mod that changes the AI and you still want to play other mods, is to make a copy of your data folder. But in order to fix the AI, uh, you just go into Data, XML, and delete this AI folder. So it installs, Republic at War installs that AI folder, it also installs this scripts folder. So what I usually tell people to do is uh, if you're if you're not comfortable doing this next step, don't worry about it. Uh, it's just to make sure that the AI, the base game's AI is used for other stuff, uh, for other mods rather. Just make a copy of the folder, and you're just going to delete that AI folder that I already showed you, and you're also going to delete that scripts folder. So it's all in here. Corruption, your copy, and in your XML, you're going to delete that. So, uh, if you're playing Republic at War, you're going to leave this one named Data. If you want to play like Imperial Civil War or the base game, just rename the folder to Data Raw and rename this folder to Data. And then if you want to do back to Republic at War, oh, should rename. you'll rename this one back to Data Backup, whatever you want to name it, and this one back to Data. And that should fix any AI issues you're having. But thank you for watching and supporting the channel. If you are interested, I am currently doing a playthrough of Republic of War. So if that's something you're interested in seeing, I'm also doing previews of Imperial Civil War, the next upcoming version. So uh, if that sounds like something that could interest you uh, and you want to subscribe to the channel and check that out, I'd appreciate it. Uh, but other than that, hopefully this helped. See you next time.